Well, very good day, everybody. My name's Callum from DX Carner. I've got a really interesting announcement for you is that for about two years, we've been working on the Signature 9, 9.5. I think we'll call it a Signature 9 because well, I'll explain in a minute. On screen here, I've got the plate set that uh, Tyler and I have done. Uh, Tyler uh, K7 TDM, in case you didn't know, he's a designer and he works for me making all these great plates. We've had a few prototypes, a few disasters, uh, but we're there. So what we're going to do is this is a pre-launch video because in about two weeks' time, we'll actually launch the first 50, okay, more, maybe 49, because I've got 50 sets. I've used one set, and I want to use another set. So there'll be 48 we'll launch. We'll get customer feedback within a couple of weeks, I'm sure, and then we'll do the full launch. There will be a small saving on the first 50. Now let's start from the basics here because the 12.4, a lot of you will know 12.4 is a beast and a half. And it was a couple of years ago, I said to the factory, could I get a cut down version of this? But to my spec, let's kind of start again. So we did, we did start again. Um, and there's a number of things I wanted, including uh, obviously the right length for shipping. I wanted a slimmer pole, but heavier. So this is, this weighs uh, about 20% heavier than a classic pole. It bends a lot less. If you've been watching my videos, you will know that in the field for nearly 15 months, we've had one of these up. I just got to show you the base of this to show you that the quality of, that's a, uh, maybe that one might pick it up. Whoa, it's not so much quality. It's just, we've got a lot of fiberglass in there. I wonder if this one can pick it up as well. Probably not as well, to be honest. Um, if, if I can't do it here, I'll, I'll get a cutaway for you and, and, and show it off, off, off camera. So the whole thing is basically this is solid fiberglass tube. Um, now, here's the cool thing we're doing. I've got to take the lid off now so it all might go everywhere. We are supplying what's so we are supplying with this a ground pole. All right. It's just under four foot long. You'll dig a hole. You'll slide this halfway in. And this Signature 9 slips beautifully over the top because there's no guys on a Signature 9, right? So you can put it in the corner of your garden really nicely. You could have, say, 180 degrees of radius on the ground and you'd have all bands. Now, but let me... Oh, should we... Should I show you how that fits in? We could do, couldn't we? Uh, this is when it all goes wrong. There's a tiny bit of tolerance... Okay, tiny bit of tolerance. If you can see that, it's mad, a one millimeter, but that will slide beautifully about halfway down. Right, I gotta build one of these myself. I mean, I've been building it on and off, but I'll do a full build video for you because there's a couple of really cool things. That's really heavy, by the way. I think that is eighth of an inch. I mean, it's indes almost indestructible. Very heavy indeed. Right, where do we go from next? This is very exciting for me, so I've got all fingers and thumbs. We, we, we've got a fun cutout. It, it, it more, the shape is more for us in the factory, so we don't confuse this with the classic, which is perfectly round. But with this, you'll get the pole, you'll have the ground stake in, in the ground, you'll slip it over, but in fact, the ground plate will stay just on the ground. So as the um, as you slip the pole down, it will just fit on like this. You'll do up the SO239. If you ever want it off, you'll take the 239 off and you slip the pole off so you can you know, do maintenance or whatever. Right. If you are a classic user or a Signature 9 user, you'll kind of know the benefit of that. Let's put this out of the way, go through the plate set, because this is very exciting. Just a just reminder, there's a lot less bend on that than there is 
on the, the classic. Now then, we've had, obviously you get a driven plate as well, so the SO239 SO would here, you get all your elements coming up here. You're gonna to wanna to know, can you do 80 meters on this? You could do, but it kind of, it'd be a shame. I've really designed this for the guy who wants every band from 40 to six. You'll just get a perfect tune that way, including 30, you see. If you want 80 meters, unless you are a late at night guy or something like that, make a linear loaded 80 meter dipole or something. Stick it at fence height. You don't need to, I say ruin, you don't, you don't need to uh, put an inverted L up on this. I mean, you can if you want, it's exactly the same. But one thing, let's just do this plate set. So this, I mentioned to you the other day, eventually in about a year's time, these will be gray, but in the meantime, they're white. They're completely UV stable. They will not crack, splinter or break. They're a lot thicker than the classic plates. And there are, I can tell you now, there are blooming tight squeeze on the pole. So I might get Tyler to take that out 0.2 of a millimeter, 0.1 of a millimeter, but we'll see. So that's the top spreader. Well, why have we got six elements on the top spreader? We'll come back to that. And then we've got these. So obviously from that, <sighs> originally we used to call that the guy plate. So for continuity purposes, we've put three guy points in here but you don't need guy points, all right? Maybe you go, oh, I'm going on holiday and I'll take my signature nine with me and I'll, I can guy it, save me digging a hole in the garden. So we just, for continuity purposes, we've given you some guy points, but only on the bottom, all right, the rest of them don't. There's a mid spreader at about three meters. This is at five. So most of your elements will connect here. However, why is the upper spreader Got so many holes so in the development of this and i haven't nailed it yet all right i'm trying i'm trying this one is that i want to get give you 12 and 10 as a pseudo 583 quarter wave that's what i'm trying to do because and i'll show you the modeling in a minute 40 meters will get a quarter wave and 15 meters if you remember we get a three quarter wave off the same element so 30 meters gets a quarter wave 20 meters gets a quarter wave, 17 meters gets a quarter wave. We could, if we could extend 10 and 12, like we've done on the signature 12.4, because that working really good. 12 and 10 on the signature with the longer elements. So that's the reason for this. So two of the holes won't be used. We'll have 12 and 10 and 40 and uh, 30. And of course on 40, we've got the 15 meter element. Right, what's next? Um, uh, da -da, let's get rid of this and move to file. I've got to reopen the signature nine. So not a lot for you to see really here. You can see though, if I just zoom back out, the shortest element in this whole thing, you can see it just in the middle there. That's the 17 meter element. Everything else is, you know, almost three quarters of the length of the pole. So that'll be fantastic. So a lot of downward, um, will be a lot of downward um, pull as well. We are gonna give you the option of gluing this if you wanted to, or supply the clamps as well, but you can glue it too. And we know uh, for a fact that, um, well I say for, I don't like saying for a fact, right? <laughs> It's like, uh, <laughs> it's not good to say we know for a fact, okay? But it is factual. We know that at five degrees off the horizon, we're getting a gain on a DX commander across the world on average at about minus five dBi. So there's a baseline. And we know for a fact that if I just ran the numbers on this, we're going to get at five degrees off the horizon. I know we're going to bet up here. There we are, minus five, minus 4.8. But of course, on 10 and 12, we're gonna get something a little bit heavier. So if we go to 24.9-ish, give or take, perfect match here. That's the other thing on a uh, slightly higher bandwidth on a three-quarter wave, but anyway. Far field plot, 
come down to five degrees off the horizon, minus 2.9. So two, three, four. Yeah, so it's a couple of dB, maybe more, but certainly a couple of dB extra on 12 and 10, just to give you a little bit more cut through. Same on, uh, I don't know where this is tuned for in software, 28.353, I don't know. Uh, three, I think it was. Doesn't really matter. Let's start. Farfield, uh, 175 minus 3.2. So there we are. So very exciting stuff. There's no waiting list. I can't put you in a queue, but don't worry. I mean, we're not so big that we're going to sell 50 overnight. Um, I'll probably do the build myself this week and make a quick video and say, okay, I'm really comfortable now with the three quarter waves on 12 and 10. You know, I've got any workarounds we need. Um, for instance, above above this at about seven meters high off the ground we used to go on a classic we used to go up and come back down on this one i'm really keen to do a tiny coil to get 15 and 40 uh, cock on i've learned that from my signature 12.4 experience so there's just a few things i'm trying to do so you'll save 50 pounds roughly on, on the production one i haven't got the exact prices yet but we'll release 50 or 48, save a few pounds. There'll be next to nothing in it. I might make the plates a little bit different, or this might be slightly different. But, I mean, that's fine, because I just ordered 50 of everything, you see. I think that is about it. I think it's great with the ground post. Hey, it took me a while to work that one out. Should I supply aluminium? Should I supply fiberglass? Should I not supply something? In the end, I decided I'll supply the ground post, dig a hole, put it in, push the earth back down, water it, leave it for a, for, a, for a week, and your pole will be fine. Obviously, you need a little spirit level. If you're in a rush, a bag of postcrete, shove that in. It's a little bit permanent, though. The one we've had up uh, for 15 months, I didn't use any postcrete at all. I just packed it back down, left it for a couple of weeks, and the pole's been on it and hasn't shoved at all. So there we are. All right. It's going to be fun. All right, stay tuned. How am I going to announce this? I'll announce it on Instagram, the Facebook group, DX Commander page, and here, and maybe a community post as soon as it's ready with the price and everything else. All right, so there we are. Wish me luck, and I wish you luck as well. All the best. Bye for now. Next video's here. All right. Cheerio.